we have announced our performance results for the fiscal year 2023, forecasts for 2024, a new target for the final year of the current midterm plan in 2026, and a target for the year 2030. Our ordinary income for the fiscal year 2023 has reached the projected amount of 135.7 billion yen. Net income was 104.7 billion yen. Through steady implementation of initiatives based on the midterm plan for each business, ordinary income in 2024 is expected to 135 billion yen. In the dry bulk segment, business performance is expected to recover due to factors such as improved market conditions, as well as operating measures. The energy resource transport segment is expected to generate stable earnings based on high-quality ship management and the fulfillment of medium to long-term contracts. In the product logistics segment, in 2024 as in 2023, we expect car carrier business to drive the segment, and other businesses are also expected to perform well. In container ship business, the number of new ship deliveries will continue to be high in 2024, and we will aim to maximize earnings through vessel operation efficiency. Due partly to the steady performance of K-Line's own businesses, we have raised the earnings targets in the final year of the current medium-term plan, 2026, to 160 billion yen. Next, we will provide a detailed explanation of how we will pursue growth strategies towards the newly announced performance target of 250 billion yen by 2030. In our long-term management vision, we have outlined working with customers to respond to changes in the business environment and to needs in the energy mix transition, and promoting low-carbon, zero-carbon emissions for the company and society by enhancing the specialized functions that represent K-Line Group's strengths. Along with promoting low-carbon, zero-carbon emissions for our company, we will strive to gain a competitive advantage by strategically responding to environmental needs relating to vessel operation, according to the role of each business. With regard to coal and iron ore carrier business, we will strive to maintain and enhance strong stable business and revenue base with existing customers and expanding our earnings base with respect to overseas mills and major resources companies by meeting demand for transport using alternative fuel vessels. With regard to car carrier business, we will promote sustainable business operations by strategically strengthening our transport capacity and customer base to meet customers' environmental needs among others. While pursuing growth strategies that leverage environmental measures, we will continue to promote low-carbon, zero-carbon emissions for our company. We will do this by advancing initiatives under our functional strategies. These include the development of the C-Wing, as well as our KIMS. Along with promoting low-carbon, zero-carbon emissions for society, demand for the transport of transition energy is expected to grow. Accordingly, new business opportunities will arise to meet this demand and to supporting energy mix conversion. As demand increases for LNG as a transitional energy, demand for LNG transport is expected to grow steadily. Therefore, we will expand the fleet size. It will be important for us to support the energy transition efforts of our existing customers by strengthening partnerships and leveraging our knowledge relating to safety, ship quality management, and cargo transportation, which we have developed over many decades. This will enable us to seize new business opportunities, especially in the shipping business. We will achieve sustainable growth and enhance corporate value through measures based on these long-term management visions. In container ship business, one will work towards sustainable growth based on 12030, which is their midterm plan. By steadily advancing growth strategies that leverage environmental measures, we aim to achieve our new earnings targets by 2030. We will strengthen our partnerships with customers who can share growth opportunities with us by promoting low carbon, zero carbon emissions for the company and society. We intend to promote business management with an awareness of capital costs, the company as a whole, achieve sustainable growth, and enhance our corporate value.